Hello, Ian here from Dark Blaze Workshop. In this one we're doing an unboxing of Hagrid and Harry on a motorbike. Hi there. Right, so yeah, the first unboxing on the channel. So um, let's get started. Let's get it open. Uh, taking the annoying cellophane off. Get it open. Uh, plenty of pieces. And a 60 mil base. And a card. Alright, so let's take a look at the card. So looking at the character card, we've got um, Chosen One, uh, I think that gives one lucky mystery dice to the defence rolls and then you gain a defence against combat spells from Voldemort. Uh, the Magical Creatures Expert, um, that means you can include uh, a magical creature within your uh, list. And fast Rule, I think it gives plus two movement, so that your normal movement is only three, so you've you've gone up to five there, um, and then you've got fly, so that treats difficult and impassable terrain as open terrain, so that that speeds things up as well. Uh, the Gryffindor trait, I'm not entirely sure on that because I haven't I haven't read the, um, the card from the Chamber of Secrets Chronicles box yet, but uh, I'm sure that makes an impact as well. And large. Now large is is good for the damage, so that more or less doubles the damage, um, so it's harder to kill. But it, that also gives you another two movement. So we're looking at what we're up to now, seven. Yeah, movement of seven, so that's pretty good. It's quite mobile. Um, right, Professor. So that's plus one uh, lucky mystery dice to your casting rolls when you want to cast that uh, expecto patronum so I'm, I'm looking at that and i'm thinking that's that's pretty much uh the harry potter student um stat line there i think it's, it's fairly similar to that but then i don't think you've got um apprentice or a potioner on that so yeah it's quite interesting that I'll we'll have to see how he plays. I'll we'll have to see. Right, let's uh, let's take a look at the parts now. Okay, so let's get that out of the way first. 60 mil base. Um, that's obviously the uh, the mount for the the motorbike. Some kind of uh, I don't know, fancy chimney that they're flying over, or a, a stack of some sort. So the bike. The uh, looks of it comes in about four or five parts. So we've got the rider, must be part of the sidecar there. How does it go that way? It goes that way. It's not a bad fit actually. That's pretty good. So that part sits on the, I don't know what it is. And the sidecar attaches to there. So that's that's uh, that's a pretty good fit actually. I'm surprised. That's good. Um, so I'll put that to one side. There's a back wheel. So onto Hagrid himself. It's quite a chunky coat. That's good. And the arms with the handlebars on. And a really cool face. Looks like he's tearing up the sky with that. Hair's flowing. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. And next to that we've got Hedwig and I'm taking that's an exhaust coming out of the back of the bike. So Hedwig is looking pretty good as well. Nice detail on the face there. Nice spread wings. And then we move on to Harry which unfortunately has got a tab under his chin, which really annoy me. But we'll have to deal with that. 
and a couple of arms. Now I'm taking it his his hands are on yeah his hands are on the windshield of the of the bike there so he'll sit in there and they'll be gripping on for grim death there. No, overall, I think it's a lovely Mini. I just wanted to have a look at the, the scale and compare it to the, the previous Hagrid that we've had. Let's see if it goes... Yeah, that's pretty good, actually. The scale's spot on, I think. Ah, lovely miniature. Um, I'll, uh, I'll do a quick build and I'll, I'll, I'll take a... We'll take a look at it when it's built. So as I'm going through the cleanup on this, it's, it's becoming more apparent that this needs to be painted in sub-assemblies. And what I mean is, you know, split it down into different pieces. So we're going to keep that part separate. I'm going to keep Hedwig separate. Because obviously painting a white owl on what essentially is going to be Hagrid's cloak and it's dark brown, it's going to be a nightmare. So he'll sit in there. So it's better to paint that separate and then glue him on afterwards. Agri's looking good, although he's got these annoying tabs, but easily taken care of. The one thing I have noticed, um, I'm going to leave the sidecar as it is and paint Sorry, uh, Harry separately. I'll attach his arms in a minute. One thing I has noticed is that when you sit Hagrid on his legs, this is slightly off centre, so the wheel's pointing that way and Hagrid's pointing the other way. And I've got the belt buckle in the middle of his belly, so I'm not sure how far over he's supposed to go, but he's, he's sitting in the middle there now. And when you attach the arms, the handlebar needs trimming on this side. And over on this side, let's get him back in the middle. The handlebar is not too far off. So it'll need a bit of um, fine tuning before you can find the right position or the optimal position where you don't have to trim too much off the handlebars but it is doable it's going to be a lovely model when it's done so I'm going to leave it there for now and have a play see if I can come up with something for these two bits to line up properly there's one thing I would warn you about is the this part of the bike is very flexible because it's only the two prongs it's actually got some flash in the middle that you need to get rid of. Yeah. Well, I'll do that in a minute. But you're left with not much strength there. I can see some people clipping it and putting a paper clip in along there, but I'll see how that goes. All in all, lovely model. Can't wait to get it painted and uh, I'll keep you updated with the progress. So that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.